Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte. I do videos on beauty, books, fragrance, and fitness. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I thought I was finished for today, but then something showed up at my doorstep, and that was Yves Rocher. What's it called though? La Collection Parfum. And I have just smelled them now, and I'm gonna smell them with you, and I love them all. And there are definitely some dupes in here. So without further ado, if you're interested in that, keep on watching. My haul, my Yves Rocher haul, I did just for you guys. No, I'm kidding. Like, it's obviously, I love fragrance. I love perfume. Any excuse to do this, but I decided that I was going to do a fragrance haul of just Yves Rocher for you guys. And I was waiting, to be honest, I was waiting for there to be a good opportunity and I got these on massive discount. I got all three hundred mils of the three perfumes that I was actually interested in. Some of these on Fragrantica, when I looked them up, people are reminded of other perfumes, but they weren't, they, people, but, we're gonna get into it, but basically, what people were reminded by was not, didn't remind me of that. And then some that didn't have reminders definitely reminded me of perfumes I have. One of these reminds me of a perfume that's quite expensive. So I think I've got a cheaper dupe for you. So first we have Yves Rocher Nouveau Genre. Nouveau Genre. And this one, first of all, I just want to say I really do like the bottles. I think that they're very, come on now, come on now. I think that they are very understated, elegant design. Come on. I just think that they are a very understated, beautiful, elegant bottle and I love that they look unisex and yeah, because they are all unisex to me. All fragrances can be, of course, but they're just perfectly balanced. And I really like androgynous looking bottles. I just I like my pretty bottle, my pretty feminine bottles too, but I just really like basic like bottles with a nice label on them like this. Like I just think this is beautiful. So this is Nouveau Genre. Then we have Sable Fauve. Sable Fauve. I'm totally gonna drop this. Oh my god. Sable Fauve. Which to me I think is really beautiful. I like that one with like the I just, I just, I just like the labels. I think they're beautiful. And Cuir de Nuit. So let's start off with Nouveau Genre. And Nouveau Genre totally reminds me of something I have. I'm trying to figure it out. Because, okay. So this is just patchouli and tonka bean. And while I'm not a huge patchouli fan, so you might be wondering why the hell would you get this? I love tonka bean and tonka bean with patchouli can mimic a patchouli vanilla scent, which is amazing to me. Um, for example, let me see if I have it here. I must have like an old bottle of it somewhere. Oh, it's right here. This is aromatherapy from Bath and Body Works Comfort which is vanilla and patchouli, and it just... I don't wear it when I f want to feel like sexy because literally when I wear this, my boyfriend says like, oh, you're wearing that. And like for him, it reminds him of this phase of his life when he was like between 17 and 20. So it just reminds him of like a late teen boy. So I do not like to wear this when I want to feel like a grown woman and sexy. But I, and I, I like, for me, I'm like, I, I don't get that because to me it's like, yes, it smells like vanilla and patchouli. Like, I love it. I love it. It smells so good. So anyway, Nouveau Genre has that same intoxicating base. I get the patchouli and I get the tonka bean. The tonka bean is really strong. And it does remind me of something and I'm not sure. Maybe it's the tonka bean weight. So let's pick up Banana Republic's Tobacco and Tonka Bean to compare it. This is sweeter. This is sweeter and I smell the tobacco. 
So I get the Tonka bean, but I get the tobacco too. So it's not similar in that sense. You just, you get the Tonka. Yeah. This is a little more spicy feeling because of the patchouli. And a little bit more, just as unisex though, just as, yeah. Oh, it totally reminds me of something and I'm not sure what. People say it reminds them of Angel Muse, the Eau de Parfum, and By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela's. I think, yeah. And I've never smelled By the Fireplace and I have Muse, but I have the Eau de Toilette, which has a very prominent passion flower note at the top, which if I erase that from my mind, I guess I can get the base, but I imagine that that's closer to what uh, Muse Eau de Parfum smells like. So anyway, that's kind of interesting. If you like patchouli and tonka bean, this is a really good one. Um, and I imagine if you like something, if you like those kinds of scents, like Angel Muse, those sort of like dark chocolatey, nutty scents, there's no chocolate in this, but tonka bean and patchouli together, they can be powerhouses that kind of evoke the feeling of like chocolate, vanillic. When I say vanillic, it's because of the tonka bean, but it can also kind of make you think of, I find that tonka bean with patchouli can give a chocolate sort of vibe. So, yeah, that's really nice. This one, I don't know if it's my favorite out of the three, but I really, really like it. And I really like how unisex it is. Again, all perfumes are, but you know what I mean? I just don't like it when it feels too forced. Like, for example, a lot of times I'll pick up a, um, a masculine scent that I'll be like, oh, the notes sound right down my alley and I'll smell it. and will be something that I'm just like, wow, it's trying too hard to be masculine. I don't know if you know what I mean, but like, I just don't like that. I don't like when scents try too hard to be masculine or try too hard to be feminine. So perfectly androgynous scents tend to be very confident and very bold and different. Uh, and in my eyes, a little more versatile in how they can be uh, worn and like what moods I can wear them in and who can wear them, um, all of that. So yeah, that was Nouveau Genre. Then we have Cuir de Nuit and this one, some people have said that it reminds them of Lalique, Le Parfum. Chat over here. And I do see the similarity, sort of, but no. No, because while this has that nice vanilla, it is a similar vanilla. This has the really prominent bay leaf note. And some people that puts them off, but that's actually what makes me find this one interesting. So I wouldn't compare them at all. But the vanilla, it reminds me of the vanilla in Seven Virtues, Vanilla Woods. It reminds me of that vanilla a little bit. So that's Cuir de Nuit, and Cuir de Nuit has a, let me see. This has Tahitian vanilla, cacao, pink pepper, and coffee. Um, great profile. <laughs> One person said it reminded them of Lalique, Lalique Satin, which, I don't think so at all, but I just want to check. Let's see. I have it here too. No, 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 not at all. Yeah, no, not for that one. And then finally, we have um, Sable Fauve. And this was the most surprising to me. Because right away, I opened it and I'm like, 
Oh my God, I know. That smells exactly like something else I have. Not only does it smell exactly like something else I have, it smells exactly like something I love. Which is none other than Valentina Mir Assoluto by Valentino, right here. And this, mm -hmm. now, not exactly the same, but very, very close now. They're so similar that I'm going to spray them both. God, I got that on my finger. Not good. Now, really similar. Now, there is a difference. Wow, that is so crazy. Sorry, but. It must be because of how I just sprayed it, but. The Valentino one, right now, and it's just because it was a really big spray on a piece of cardboard, I think. It almost smells like Tiger Bomb. <laughs> it's the myrrh, I think. Okay, so the differences are what we, what you would think they were, basically, actually, because myrrh has myrrh in it and sable fauve does not have myrrh in it. So that's the main difference I get between the two. Because myrrh assoluto has the myrrh with the vanilla and the benzoin. Sable fauve is a benzoin perfume. Yeah, and there you go. The first three main accords, according to Fragrantica, for both Myrrh Assoluto and Sable Fauve, for both is Amber Vanilla Warm Spicy. Amber Vanilla Warm Spicy. It makes sense that they're very similar because the Myrrh Assoluto, and let me see if anyone noticed that. Wow, people said this perfume reminds them of black opium. And La Vie Belle, I would not say so. Maybe a little bit in the dry down, but to me, it comes closer to the Mir Assoluto. And that's on, it is on first impression, so I will have to test and see, but for now, like that does not remind me of Black Opium. I get how it could because it's like in the same family as all those oriental floral fruity guamals. But no. And so anyway, to recap. So yeah, anyway, it makes sense because Sable Fauve has tonka bean, benzoin, and labdamum. French labdamum, I think, yeah. And the myrrh assoluto has been the benzoin. It has the myrrh and it has the vanilla. Is there something else too I'm missing? I think so, wait. Oh, that's what's different. Okay. Okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. There's no benzoin in the myrrh, in the Valentino. No benzoin. So I was wrong about that. But what is it then? They're not the same. They're not exactly the same, but The Myrrh Assoluto also has ylang ylang and leather, which I smell the leather. And that I think that's what makes it quite different. From Sable Fauve. Sable Fauve is a little bit lighter, a little bit sweeter in my eyes, to my nose, even though, well, it's not sweeter though. The other one has, Myrrh has a little bit more of this like Tiger Bomb-esque thing going on. It must be the Myrrh. The Myrrh is the top note, so it makes sense. And it's not overpowering like that when it's on my skin. I'm gonna have to try them side by side though. Anyway, all three of these, 
super interesting and uh, I look forward to trying these out because Evil Hashi is kind of, uh, I think, you know, is probably kind of an underrated house. Um, I know I underestimate them all the time and these I was pleasantly surprised by. I think that they've stepped it up a little bit and uh, I really like all three of these and I will let you know if I have a favorite in here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you tried any of these, if you've smelt any of them, if you are familiar with Ibarashi fragrances. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the rest of my content, I hope that you will like this video and that you will subscribe and uh, say hello in the comments. I'd love to get to know who I'm talking to, who I'm, who I'm, you know, who I'm engaging with. So. So until next time, please take care of yourself and bye.